today we are looking at a very important subject what is your life's purpose I think this is um, a question that many of us need to ask if we haven't already done so I see a lot of people wandering around questioning I just don't know what to do with myself I'm fed up I don't know what to do with my life that is unfortunate I hope that this session is going to help you to discover that you are not just in the world or in this life to occupy space and the very fact of you still being alive means you have unfinished business every single person in this world has a purpose for which they were created by God firstly you need to remember that you were created by God. Even before your mom and dad conceived you, God knew about you. You were created by God for one purpose, to live for God. Because it is in living for God that we'll dis we discover our real purpose. We find that out there, there are a lot of books telling you oh, how to fulfill your dreams, your goals, and all that. Yeah. How many of you have heard of wealthy people who took their lives? It's not about wealth or success. No, it's actually discovering your true purpose. And that can only be discovered when you have encountered God where you know God personally. In one of my sessions, I talked about what it is to be born again, what it is to have a personal relationship with God. There can be no discovering of your life's purpose without starting from there. God created you for a purpose, so you need to go back to God and ask Him, God, why have you brought me into this world? Why have you kept me alive? I, there is a book, I'm not surprised, that the book has sold over 30 million copies on the purpose-driven life. It's an amazing book. And I'm not surprised because, I mean, it's the new uh, Times bestseller is talked about in Wall Street Journal, the Time Magazine, ABC News, and all that. The purpose-driven life by Rick Warren. Because a lot of people are going around trying to discover what is my purpose? Why am I in this world? Discovering that purpose starts with God, having a personal relationship with God. You are created by God for God, to have a personal relationship with God. Check out one of my sessions where I talked about what it is to be born again. That is the beginning of having a personal relationship with God. God wants to use your life to be a blessing to your generation. And the sad thing is that sometimes in trying to discover their true life's purpose. A lot of people focus on themselves, me, my, my goal, my this, my that. They become selfish, self-centered. No. Actually, you discover your purpose when you start being selfless. You're actually thinking of how you can make a difference in the world. Be a blessing to your generation. This is what life is about. If your life is only about you, focusing on yourself, your needs, and the me, and the my, you missed it out completely. You were created by God for, for a specific purpose, and that is to serve God. When this was to worship God. Remember the story of creation? When God put man in the garden. And the Bible says in Genesis 1, you know, 2, that God came down in the cool of the evening to have fellowship with God. And without that relationship with God, we cannot discover our true life's purpose. We are in this world for what? You are not an accident. And you are here for a purpose. That, that is why in the world today, even if you are identical twins, there are no two human beings that are the same. You are unique. You are special in God's plan and purposes. Fearfully and wonderfully made. I'll read something to you. In Psalm chapter 139, what God says, you know, just so you understand that 
You are not an accident in this world. God knew about you. You are unique. You are special. There are no two of you in this world. It's Psalm 139. It says here in verse 13, For you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. It says in verse 15, My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret. God knew about you when you were being in your mother's womb. You had a plan and purpose. There is something unique, special. You, you have no competitor because you are unique. There are no two of you. So it, it, it just amazes me when you see people who are envious of what other people have. Oh, I wish <coughs> the other day was in the news how the cosmetic industry is making millions out of people trying to reshape themselves or they don't like how their face looks or how this part of their body tampering with how go, because they, are, they have not discovered their purpose because they want to be like somebody else. You are unique. You are wonderful and fearfully made. God has a plan and purpose for you. I hope that you can discover that purpose. And it starts with you having a personal relationship with God. As I said in one of my sessions, you might ask, okay, how do I have this personal relationship with God? It's as simple as A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. You're discovering your life's purpose starts with you. Sitting back and asking God questions. Why am I here? I remember a few years ago, or many years ago actually, I wrote a poem. Why am I here? One of these days, when I find that poem, I'll be able to read it. But I, 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 I remember waking up that morning, I, I wrote it because I realized that we are in the world for a purpose. We are not just here to wake up, eat, go to work, have fun, come back, go to sleep, and the clock of life keeps ticking. No, you are in this world for a purpose. And discovering that purpose starts with God. If you want to find out more about this, this amazing best-selling book, the Purpose Driven Life. And it says, What on earth am I here for? By Rick Warren. It says, The best selling non fiction hardback book in history. Incredible. Helps you to discover what, if, what, and it's never too late. It doesn't even matter how old you are. If you suddenly realize, I, I, I heard the story of the guy who, who set up KFC with his pension money at 69. It's never too late to discover your purpose in life. It doesn't have to, discover your purpose has nothing to do with how you were born, whether you were born with no eyes. I mean, I, I am I'm ashamed. I've seen, I can't even swim, but I can, I've seen people with disabilities who can swim. Even, so there's no excuse whatsoever. Any one of us can achieve our life's purpose. But it is discovering what that purpose is. And it only starts when you discover and have this personal relationship with God. As I said, it's as simple as A, B, C, D. A is to admit, agree that you are a sinner. And so, because we all sinned. There's nobody who can say, oh, I have never sinned. No. It's very fact, David said, in sin, did my mother conceive me? Nobody teaches a child to steal or to lie. It's there in our inborn nature. So discovering your purpose starts with you discovering who God created you to be. Getting back into that relationship with God. And B is to believe that Jesus died for your sins. Invite him. Appreciate the sacrifice he made. If it was just you in the world alone. Jesus will still have died. That's how truly special you are before God. Believe that Jesus died for you. See, is to confess your sins. Confess. Say, I am sorry to God for all that you have done. And D is to decide, determine. 
Determine to give your life to Jesus. Determine to start living for God. True purpose starts from there. And is there, the, the thing is this. God has given us the map of life in his word. And when you have this personal relationship with God and engage with the word of God, you begin to discover your life's purpose. Because the word of God will direct you, will lead you, and be a light to your feet. A lamp to your feet and a light to lighten your path of life. It's like somebody setting out on a journey and not knowing where he's going. If you have not discovered your life's purpose, it's like traveling and somebody asks you, where are you going? I say, I don't know. That, can we, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that make anyone think that you were not normal? Every normal person who is on a journey knows where he's going, make sure he has a direction. So to discover your life's purpose, it starts with you relating with God, discovering who you are, who God says you are in his word. And so I hope that from, from this day, you can begin to think about what your life is about. You are not an accident. God created you for a purpose. And there is that purpose that only you, there is something that only you can do, that no other person can do it the way that you can. Go back to God and think, ask him to reveal to you the purpose for which he has created you. God bless you. And in, watch out for subsequent sessions where we can talk more about how you live in your God-given purpose. God bless you.